So today I'm working on this 82 Yamaha IT465. Had a little bit of an issue with it when I was riding last time. It would rev up and down even when you weren't on the throttle. I'm not sure what it was. I think it's got a carburetor issue. So I pulled the carb off of it. And the slide on this thing is massive. I mean, it's a 465, so it's got a big carburetor. So, I'm starting to look at it. And it looks really clean. I mean, there's no visible issues that I can see. So, I'm going to pull the pilot jet out, needle and seat and all that, and clean it out real good. Hopefully, uh, I can get it working right. But down in the bowl, if you look, through really clean in there too so I'm not sure uh, I had an issue with it it was flooding real bad and it was coming out all of these tubes this one this one and it was just dumping out and this one too so that tells me that the needle is not closing off when the float goes up and it's just dumping gas out so I took the carburetor part out there in the middle of the woods Pulled the needle out, blew it out, put it back in, checked it, and it closed off just fine. And it stopped over, overflowing. Well, then I noticed when I'd give it gas, it would hesitate real bad. It was almost like a bad spark plug, but it was idling up and idling down and revving real fucked up. So I'm not 100% sure, but I know if I clean the carburetor out completely, I'm going to take everything off of it and clean out the carburetor cleaner. Put it back together hopefully it solves my problem and if it doesn't i think the next culprit might just be this intake boot now if you look right there there's a crack it's a dry rock crack this thing is a 82 and it sat for a while so i might have to buy a new intake boot and they're not cheap you can't find them, and they're expensive. So, before I buy a new one, I might take that off and try to coat it with epoxy to see if that fixes the problem. And if that does fix the problem, then maybe next season, because the season's about over for riding, I might order an intake boot. I think they're about 120 bucks, which is ridiculous because it's just a fucking little piece of rubber. But whatever. If I need it, I need it. I'll get it if I do. So if anybody's got any other information or something I could do to help me, please let me know. Send me a comment, a message, something. Because it's just slowly been getting worse and worse. I've ridden it probably 10 times and it's just been getting worse and worse on the idling up and idling back down by itself. I don't know if my idle is too high. I've turned the idle down and it still does it even at low range. So I guess we will see if my epoxy method will work or if I just clean my carb out because those dry rot cracks might not be all the way through. So, let me know if you guys got any uh, information that might help me, because uh, I've dealt with a lot of dirt bikes, you know, four-wheelers and stuff, and uh, two strokes, I'm just not 100% on exactly how everything works on them, but I'm getting it. So, if anybody's got any other information, just let me know. Leave me a message. Thanks.